Hello and welcome to Storytime for Kids. Today we're going to continue reading Little Kids' First Big Book of Reptiles and Amphibians. And we're going to do Chapter 2. So, Chapter 2, Slither and Scoot. This chapter begins with snakes, mostly on to lizards, and ends with one-of-a-kind reptile. Common garter snake. Garter snakes come in many colors. Some facts about it. Home, most habitats, usually near water, in much of the U.S. and Canada, and in parts of Mexico. Food. Earthworms, fish, amphibians, and other small animals. Babies, 7 to 20 at a time, and they're born lice, not in eggs. And this is a size compared to a child. Male garter snakes are usually smaller than females. Garter snakes live in grasslands and forests, lawns and fields. They eat many kinds of small animals. Because they're so good at living in a lot of different places and eating a lot of different things, you might spot a garter snake almost anywhere in North America. Most snakes hatch from eggs, but garter snake babies are born live. They leave their mother's body as little snakes, ready to slither. A common garter snake can give birth to up to 80 baby snakes at one time. Wow. But it usually has no more than 20. If you were a snake, what color would you like to be? I would be blue. <laughs> Arizona coral snake. This snake is pretty but dangerous. Facts. Home. Deserts and semi-desert areas of Arizona, New Mexico in the US and Mexico. Food, mostly other snakes and lizards. Babies, two to three eggs at a time. Size, this is a size compared to a little kid. The Arizona coral snake, bright bands of color, warns enemies that it is dangerous and to stay away. All snakes have teeth and can bite. Some snakes, like the Arizona coral snake, are venomous. A venomous snake has two special teeth called fangs. When it bites an animal, the snake injects a powerful liquid called venom through its sharp fangs and into the prey. The venom either kills the prey or makes it unable to move then the snake can swallow it whole. Animals that hunt are called predators. The animals they eat are called prey. Which is which? A few other kinds of snakes, including some kinds of king snakes and milk snakes, have bright bands of color similar to the coral snakes. But king and milk snakes are not venomous. Their colors protect them from getting eaten by predators that mistake these harmless snakes for the dangerous coral snake. This is the Arizona coral snake, scarlet king snake, western milk snake. Yes, it's true. They do look pretty similar if you don't know much about them. I would stay away from all, all of them. <laughs> This is a king cobra. When a king cobra feels threatened, it raises its head and the front part of its body straight up into the air. The longest cobra known could stretch halfway up a telephone pole. Wow, that's huge. Home. Forests in India and Southeast Asia. Food. Mostly other snakes. Babies. 12 to 51 eggs at a time. And this is the size compared to a kid. 
King Cobra. This is the world's longest venomous snake. King Cobras hunt for prey during the day. They attack prey with a bite, and their venom, delivered through their fangs, kill it. The female King Cobra builds a nest for her eggs. She guards them until they hatch. Then the young are on their own right away. The baby snakes are just as venomous as their parents. The King Cobra is one of the very few kinds of snakes that make nests. Why do you think a King Cobra tries to look big when it feels threatened? Boa constrictor. A boa gives its prey a big squeeze. The boa constrictor grabs its prey with its mouth, which is full of teeth. But this snake is not venomous. The boa kills it by wrapping its body around and around its prey. It constricts or squeezes the animal until it is dead. Then the boa feeds the whole meal into its mouth. A snake can open its mouth very wide. Muscles move the meal down into the snake's stomach. After eating a big meal, such as small deer, a boa may not eat again for months. A newborn boa could feed across this open book, from here to here. That's the size of a baby boa. A large boa could easily stretch from the floor to the ceiling of most rooms. Wow. Facts. Home. Forests and grasslands from northern Mexico through much of South America. Food. Small mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians. Babies. 10 to 64 at a time. They're born life. And if you see here, they're pretty big compared to a kid. What is the biggest animal you have ever seen? Mm, I think for me, it would be an elephant in a zoo, of course. This is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Facts. Home. Forests, woods, grasslands, and wetlands in the southeastern U.S. Food, rabbits, rats, birds, insects, and other small animals. Babies, 7 to 21 at a time. They're born alive. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake is the largest venomous snake in the United States. Can you name other things that make a rattling sound? The diamondback gets its name from the diamond-shaped pattern of scales on its back. You see? Looks like diamonds, right? Eastern diamondback's rattlesnake. This snake shakes its noisy tail. A rattlesnake's tail ends in segments or bits of keratin, the same material that your fingernails are made of. These hard bits of keratin form a rattle. The snake shakes its rattle to warn enemies to stay away. The noise sounds like a fast buzzing or rattling. Like all snakes, a rattlesnake sheds its skin as it grows. New skin grows underneath the old. The old skin splits and the snake wriggles out of it. The new skin fits its bigger body. Each time a rattlesnake sheds its skin, a new segment of rattle is added to its tail. This is the old skin. You see this here? And this is the snake. Did you know you also shed some skin? Of course, it's not like the snake skin where they basically leave the whole thing at once. But we, sh we, we shed our skin on a daily basis. And we get new skin underneath. Now, one time I saw one of these skins and I thought it was a real snake. And I got a little scared, but um, then I realized it was just a skin. <laughs> Have you ever seen a uh, snake skin?
Ooh. Sea crate. Sea crates hunt for food in the ocean. This venomous snake spends about half its time in the ocean and the other half on land. It hunts mostly for eels in the ocean. Its tail is shaped like a paddle, which helps the sea crate swim. It moves its tail from side to side through the water. A sea crate comes ashore to find a mate, lay eggs, shed its skin, and digest food. Say my name, sea crate. Facts. Home. Coastal lands, islands, and coral reefs in the western Pacific Ocean and eastern Indian Ocean. Food. Mostly eels and some small fish. Babies. 4 to 20 eggs at a time. Size. Hmm, they're big compared to a kid. Sharks and seabirds prey on sea crates. Can you think of three or more words that rhyme with crate? Here's a hint. Late. You've met some of the more than 3,000 species of snakes. Here are a few more. Brahmini blind snake, Sri Lankan pit viper, Asian vine snake, green anaconda, green tree python, Brazilian rainbow boa, red headed crate, green iguana. This lizard uses its tail like a whip. Facts. Home. Rainforests of Central and South America, Caribbean islands. Food. Leaves, flowers, and fruit. Babies. 10 to 30 eggs at a time. Size. They're big. A green iguana can have several colors on its body, including blue, lavender, pink, black, and orange. The green iguana is an arboreal lizard. This means it lives mostly in trees. It usually moves slowly, munching on leaves and flowers. But if a predator, such as an eagle or a snake, approaches, the green iguana can move fast. If water is nearby, the iguana dives in and swims off. The lizard can also defend itself by spreading out its dewlap, a flap of skin under its chin. It hisses while bobbling its head up and down. It can also whack an enemy with its spiny tail, swipe with sharp claws, or bite. What are some things you like to climb? The green anole is usually green when it is calm, healthy, and warm. But when it is scared, sick, or cold, it is often dark brown. The temperature and humidity or the amount of water in the air can also cause a green anole to change color. Like the green iguana, the green anole has a dewlap. The males is usually bright pink and the females is pale pink. Facts. Home. Swamps, forests, and woods in the southeastern U.S. Food. Flies, crickets, moths, and other small insects. Worms and slugs. Babies. 15 to 18 eggs. Laid one at a time every two weeks. Size. Hmm, they're not too big. And this is the dewlap. When a green anole hatches, it is only about as long as a human baby's pinky finger. They are teeny, teeny tiny. Anoles have special pads on their toes 
that help them scurry straight up trees, rocks, and walls. They're kind of like sticky. That's why they don't fall. If you could change color with your mood, what color would you be when you are happy? Frilled lizard. Don't you think they look like dinosaurs? The frill on this lizard is its secret weapon. Owls, large snakes, and foxes prey on frilled lizards. Frilled lizards are part of a group of lizards called dragons. Oh, that makes sense. Frilled lizards often run on the ground from one tree to another on their hind legs. They look like they're running like a, like a person, right? This lizard has a special trick for escaping predators. It opens its mouth wide. That does two things. First, the inside of the lizard's mouth, which is bright pink or yellow, surprises the predator. Second, the lizard's big neck, frill, pops open. The mouth and frill trick, along with the frill lizard's loud hissing, often startles the predator just long enough for the lizard to escape. Or the trick might scare the predator so much that it runs away. Can you name a time when something surprised you? Facts. Home. Grassy woodlands. Dry forests. In northern Australia and southern New Guinea. Food. Mostly insects. Sometimes small mammals. Babies. 4 to 13 eggs at a time. The size. Oh, they can be quite big compared to a child. Panther chameleon. This lizard's eyes can move separately. Facts. Home. Forests in part of Madagascar, an island off the coast of Africa. Food. Mostly insects. Babies. 10 to 46 eggs at a time. Size. They're very tiny. A chameleon's tongue can be as long as its body. A panther chameleon's eyes can look in two different directions at once. One might look up while the other eye looks to one side, each eye searching for prey. But when this lizard spots an insect to eat, both eyes focus on it. Sap! Its tongue shoots out of its mouth and hits its target. The end of the lizard's tongue is covered in a wooey glob of mucus. The prey sticks to it. The chameleon brings its tongue back into its mouth. The insect becomes a meal. A panther chameleon's toes help it grip branches tightly. What are some things you can pick up with your toes? Oh, I pick everything I can with my toes. <laughs> Toke gecko. A gecko can regrow its lost tail. Swooping down from the sky, an owl grabs a toke gecko by its tail. But the gecko gets away. Its tail comes off its body. The hawk is left hanging onto a wiggling tail while the lizard scurries away to safety. The gecko, like many kinds of lizards, can grow a new tail. Facts. Home. Cliffs. Tropical forests. And near and in people's homes throughout Southeast Asia. Food. Mostly cockroaches, locusts, and other insects, and other small animals, babies, one or two eggs at a time. And they're very small too. A toke gecko's toes have tiny hairs that work like suction cups. They help the lizard walk up walls and across ceilings.
unlike most lizards, the Tokei gecko makes very loud croaking calls. Many people who live where geckos are found happily share their homes with the lizards. The geckos eat pesky insects that people do not want around. The houses give the lizards shelter. It is a good partnership. Would you like to have a gecko living in your house? Why or why not? Actually, geckos and chameleons are pets. They can be pets. Great Desert Skink These reptiles live in family groups. A great desert skink's tail is a little longer than its body. Facts Home Deserts in parts of Australia Food Insects, spiders, and small lizards Some flowers, leaves, and fruits Babies one to seven babies at a time, born live. Size. Skinks are lizards. There are many species or kinds of skinks. Great desert skinks are unusual because they live in family groups. Most skinks do not live in groups. Young great desert skinks live with their parents, brothers, and sisters until they are adults. Great desert skinks dig big burrows in the sand to live in. A maze of tunnels connects several different rooms, including a bathroom. A burrow can be as long as a typical school bus. About 10 skinks live in a burrow at the same time. Wow! A great desert skink burrow can have as many as 20 entrances. It's kind of like what rabbits do, right? Can you name some other animals that live in Australia? Sand lizard. Male sand lizards change color. Sand lizards are generally brown with black markings. But during a couple of months each year, in the spring, the male lizard becomes bright green. Female sand lizards that are ready for a mate notice the bright green males. After the sun sets, the temperature cools down. The lizards stay still inside their burrows. When the sun rises, the temperature warms up the lizards. They start moving around to look for food. During the cold winter, sand lizards hibernate in their burrows. They stay in a deep sleep until spring. Female sand lizards lay their eggs in sunny, sandy spots. The sun keeps the eggs warm until they hatch. Sand lizard babies are on their own as soon as they hatch. Facts Home Grasslands, meadows, and sand dunes in parts of Europe and Asia. Food, insects, babies, 4 to 14 eggs at a time. And these are compared to a child's hand. How many green animals can you name? Ooh, you know this one, right? This one is a Komodo dragon. Until they are about four years old, baby Komodo dragons spend much of their time in trees. Facts Home Forests and savannas on a few small islands in Indonesia. Food Wild pigs, water buffalo, deer, many smaller animals, and carrion. Dead animals. Babies 25 eggs at a time. And look at the size. They're huge. Komodo dragon. This creature is the largest lizard in the world. The Komodo dragon got its name because it reminded people of a fire-breathing storybook dragon. Like a make-believe dragon, this lizard is big. It also has a large yellow tongue. 
this tongue made people think of flames shooting out of the dragon's mouth. This huge lizard has a big appetite and hunts large animals, like deer. A Komodo dragon can eat 180 pounds, 82 kilos, at one meal. That would be like you eating 720 hamburgers for dinner. <laughs> wow! Komodo dragons belong to a group of animals called monitor lizards. Can you make up a story about a fire-breathing dragon? Marine Iguana These lizards sneeze a lot. A marine iguana can hold its breath underwater for an hour. Marine iguanas are lizards that find their food in the ocean. They use their teeth to scrape algae off rocks in the sea. As they eat, the iguanas swallow a lot of salt from the ocean water. They need to get rid of this salt because too much in their bodies would make them sick. As they rest and warm up on shore, the iguanas sneeze out the salt. A chew! This salt turns the rocks around them white. It makes the lizard's head white too. Facts. Home. Rocky shoreline in the Galapagos Islands. Food, algae, babies, one to six eggs at a time. Size, they're pretty big too. Iguanas are the only lizards in the world that feed underwater in the ocean. Hmm. Marine iguanas become cold quickly as they feed in the ocean. They must crawl back onto shore to warm themselves on sunny rocks. Would you rather swim in the ocean or in a pool? And why? I love the ocean. What about you? There are more than 4,500 kinds of lizards. You have already met a few, including iguanas, anoles, chameleons, geckos, and skinks. Here are a few more lizard species. Emerald swift, blue anole, gila monster, slow worm, a legless lizard, rainbow agama, nice colors. Tuatara. This rare reptile can live to be 100 years old. Tuataras have existed since the time of the dinosaurs. The tuatara looks like a lizard, but it is not a lizard. Its teeth, ears, and other parts of its body are different. The tuatara is one of a kind reptile. Facts. Home. Open areas with a few trees on islands off the coast of New Zealand. Food. Spiders, beetles, frogs, small reptiles, and bird eggs. Babies. 5 to 18 at a time. And these are their size. They're not too big. A female tuatara lays her eggs in a shallow hole that she digs in a sunny spot. She doesn't incubate or keep them warm herself. Instead, she covers the eggs with leaves and grass and walks away. It takes the eggs more than a year to hatch. Like many reptiles, male and female tuataras develop depending on the temperature inside a nest. Nests in warm spots produce males. Cooler nests produce females. Wow, that is so amazing. Unlike other reptiles, a tuatara's lower row of teeth fits under the upper two rows when its mouth is closed. Who is the oldest person you know? Ooh, we finished chapter two. Come back for chapter three, okay? I hope you learned a lot. So which one is your favorite?
I think mine is a chameleon. I think their eyes are so cool. What about you? Thank you for listening and see you back soon.